Brian Sensei here. Have you ever wanted to create additional user accounts on your Windows computer so that you can let family members log in and have their own desktop and their own files and those files don't get mixed up with your files? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create additional user accounts in Windows 11. And I'll show you how to copy files from one account into another. Let's dig in. To begin, click on the Start menu. Then click on Settings. All right, over to the left, we're going to click on Accounts. OK, once here, you're going to scroll down until you see Other Users. Click here. All right, here you will see existing user accounts. You can see I have an additional account created here. Over to the left, you can see the account that I'm currently signed in as. And a call out here, in order to add other users, you need to make sure that you're logged in under the main admin account, which is the first account that you set up when you first got your computer. All right, and to add an additional account, we're gonna come over here and click Add Account. All right, so here you're being asked to provide either an email address or a phone number of the person you want to add. However, this assumes that they already have a Microsoft account, such as Microsoft 365 or an Xbox account. If they don't already have a Microsoft account, you can click on, I don't have this person's sign-in information. Here, they're giving you an opportunity to actually create a Microsoft account. If you'd like to, you can go ahead and do that. It costs nothing. However, if you prefer to just create an account that doesn't require an additional email address or an existing Microsoft account, you can click Add a user without a Microsoft account. I'll go ahead and do that in this example. OK, here now all I need to do is provide a username and create a password and enter that password two times. For the username, it will simply be Forrest, the name of the family member that I'm creating the account for. And remember, when creating a password, be sure to use something complex that's not easy to guess, such as 12345 or password, etc. Here you get an opportunity to create security questions that will help you retrieve your password in case you forget it. For example, what was your pet's first name? What's the name of the city you were born in? And so on. I'll go ahead and fill these out. Okay, once that's done, I'll click Next. Okay, and now the account is created. So the next step is to go ahead and log on to this account. We're going to go down to our Windows Start menu. We're going to click on the existing account name here. And here you can see we could either sign out or we can click the More menu and select the user name that we'd like to log in as, in this case, Forrest. Now, once you've created that new account and you've signed in once, you might be in a situation where you'd like to move files from your original admin account over to the new account that you created. So how can you do that? Well, let me show you. You can do this through your file explorer. I'll go down here and open up the file explorer folder and I'll click on this PC over at the left. Then you'll look for the local disk C drive. We'll double click this to open it up and we'll go to the users folder. We'll open that up and here we're going to see all of the user accounts that have been created on this computer. Each user account has its own folder. So here we see Forest right here. We can go ahead and open this up. You'll notice it says I currently don't have permission. I'll just go ahead and click continue anyway. As long as I'm logged in as the admin account, I'm able to continue into any user's folder. All right, so here we're seeing all of the folders that would contain files and information for that user, right? We've got our desktop, documents, downloads, favorites, etc. So if you wanted to move files over from this existing admin account 
into these folders for this other user, you can go ahead and right click on your file explorer, open up another window, for example, documents, and I can now move my documents copy and paste them or cut and paste them over into the new user account. For example, if I want to copy this Adobe folder, I can go ahead and select that. I can copy here. Then I'll go over to the documents folder or the new user, and I can go ahead and paste that in here. Once those items are copied over, you can come back to your main account and you can delete this folder. If you decide in the future that you'd like to delete the new account that you created, we can go back to our start menu and we can go to settings. We will go back over to accounts and we will scroll down to other users. And under the account, we can go ahead and click the drop down and we can click remove to remove the account and all of its related data. And that is how you work with additional accounts in Windows 11. If you liked this video, please give it a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to see more of this content, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please complete the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.